Zoop. I'm going to move this to the other side. The other side. Welcome. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. I thought today we'd just do a fantastic little painting that I think you'll really enjoy. I've already covered the canvas with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white. It's wet and slick and it's all ready to go. So I've put my ring light on so you can see me better. Um, here I go in with the liquid white. Today I'm going to start with a small amount of the Thalo Blue on the two inch brush. We'll pick up a little bit of the Midnight Black and add it in there. Using the little crisscross strokes, little X's, just begin dropping in a happy little sky. Little X's. There. That's just the way the teacher used to grade my paper in school. She'd just run across it and go ch -ch 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 -ch. Just think about that when you're doing it. And today I'm just going to throw in a quick little background because I want to I spend some time playing in, in the foreground. Just want to have some fun. And that quick, we have a happy little background. Now then, let's have just a little rolling hill back here. We just use the same old dirty brush, it's all right. Go right into the, the thalo blue. Reach over here and pick up a little bit of a lizard crimson. Maybe there's a little hill and he lives. There he is. And let it get lighter and lighter as it works downward. There we go. See there? Let it happen. Let it happen. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Okay, and that quick, we have a distant little hill. Now then, same old dirty brush. And maybe back in here, maybe we'll have a little hill that runs like it. So I have all the yellows and a little sap green. And just tap that brush into the color. Tap it firmly. Just barely touch. See? Just touch. It doesn't look green. Why doesn't it look green? And maybe in here we're going to have another hill. And here, once again, all I'm doing is just applying some dark color to it. Now then, same old dirty brush. Let's have some fun today. Let's put a happy little house right in here. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Let me, let me show you here. Probably one of the simplest ways. I'm just gonna take a little paint so you can see it. You can just sort of scrape in a basic shape here. See, there's part of the roof. See, and then it comes down maybe like so. And the other side, and here, and then you need something there and there. You can do this just to sort of build yourself a little outline. Just like so. Push hard. And then you can start filling it in. Zoop, just like so. Zoop, 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 just like so. Push hard, right into the material. Maybe this little fellow that lives here is like me. He needs a zoop. Try to make those little noises or it doesn't work. Zoop, 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 zoop. Yeah, I know. You're saying, Bob, you really, you really done it this time. What is that? Oh my gosh, Bob. What have you done? What a mess. What would Gordon Ramsay say about this? Even though it's not edible. It's definitely not edible. Oh, hello. That was satisfying. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, dear. Bob, I'm so sorry. Didn't that look just like a house? Yes, it looks just like a house. Okay, I'm going to take some bright red and let's start like that. Look at that. This is an old, tired building. This is a titanium white. Just a tiny bit, so it picks up the least little touch. And let's go right up in here and pull this one down. Just pull him down, pull him down. Then we can go right through here and put, see, just put these little rascals back in there. And don't, don't get these too perfect. You want this to be an old house. Let's come right up in here and put a happy little window. But I have to have a window over here so you can see what's happening. Pop in some, some little roof indications. 
little shingles. And we can come up in here and begin tapping in some grass right down here at the base, just like so. There we go. We got a happy little house out here. Well, it's a dull place to live, isn't it? Let's put a tree in there. Look around and decide, there he is. There he is. Give these trees names and stuff. Make them your friends. Talk to them. It doesn't matter if people think you're crazy, you know. Painters are noted for being a little weird anyway. We can get away with things like that. Amen to that. Mm, zoom. Provide some shade. Now then, let's go right up in here, and I'm just going to tap on some little indications of some nice leaves. Isn't that a super nice way to create beautiful, beautiful little leaves on your tree? Let's go right up here and highlight some of these. Just let a little light play through there. there we go. Just put a little, a little touch of white in there. Use this um, bricklayer's trowel to get some defined lines. Oh yes. Maybe there's a fence right there. I like to do an old happy fence. Comes right across like that. There's one. Oh <gasps> yeah. There is another post. But they don't have to be neat. It's a shack. Two posts. Then go across. We'll put a little... Look at that. And that just about finishes this one up. It's not the worst painting I've ever seen. I think that'll make it look better if it's better blended. The Misty Mountains. Lord of the Rings. And also, a Led Zeppelin song. Misty Mountain Hop. I think that... Oh, I have not just stood in my palette. In it. <sighs> Take my tights off. This happened in the last video. This is like tradition now. I think we'll call that one done from all of us here. Happy painting. God bless.